All right, I'm working on my 2012 Ford Focus here today. We're going to be replacing this rear hatch. The latch on here is broken. And as of now, I said it doesn't latch at all. And also, you know, it will just flop around. But when you're going down the road, the, uh, the bail is or the beeper is constantly going off and telling you that this thing is open and uh, the worst part about it is that the lights back here that you have in the back don't go off so I have to disconnect the battery at this time just to uh, keep this battery from running dead so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started on removing this. I got a replacement from eBay. It was a really good deal, $25 shipping and everything. I don't know that I'd wanna know what one of these costs new. It's probably not very cheap for this whole assembly here, but this is what we have to replace. So if you're having trouble with this, then you'll have to get in here and replace this assembly. Now, it came with a striker plate that you got down here but this looks to be in good shape to me so i probably won't be messing with that okay so the first thing we're going to get started on is removing these you can get um, some plastic pry tools or you can just use your fingernails and kind of pull those off <clears throat> we got one on this side here as well Okay, and there's the one off that side. And they pull off there pretty easily. So if we look up in here, if you can see, we've got some, we've got some, uh, looks like that one's broke, or somebody's been pulling on it. But there's some uh, little eight millimeters, it looks like, in there. And we're gonna get us a little eight millimeter. And we've got some on this side as well, you can see up in there. We're gonna get those out and we'll probably put some washers back on these because those are really got a small head and you're when you're constantly pulling down on this, that's what caused this one over here to rip through. So they really should have a big washer head on there. It's just not really a good design for that little bitty headed bolt. Okay, so this is a seven millimeter and I'm just using this a quarter inch drive screwdriver to get this off of here you can get a kit of these if you don't have any pretty cheap from pretty much anywhere just get a whole kit of metric or metric and standard sets but anyways we got the first one out of there we're going to go ahead and get over here and remove these others but this is a seven millimeter we're going to go ahead and just take these over here out and they come out of here real easy. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish removing all these. Okay, with all four of our uh, screws out, we're gonna try to start popping these snaps loose here. Now it's gonna have to slide over this. So we're gonna kinda get it popped loose. And we're gonna slide it over the top of this here. So just go to getting it loose. And sometimes you got to do some tugging. Okay, these clips really do hold in here. You can see, but we are getting them loose now with a little yanking. And so now we just got this side. And I'm really quite amazed that none of these clips broke. That usually never happens. Usually like once you take one of these loose, you break two or three of these, but I like to put a little um, white lithium when I put them back, just because it makes it a little easier to get, a, to get it apart the next time I have to mess with it. And uh, hopefully, get it without breaking it but you can see the uh, you got alignment pegs that go in you got metal clips that are 
they're going around along with the alignment pegs so when you put it back you get the alignment pegs into their holes and then you just clip it into place so if you don't get the alignment pegs into their locations then you'll know that you don't don't have it right and so you've got them just in various places here so we'll have to make sure that we get those lined up when we snap it back on but really not too bad it just uh, other than the uh, here's the one that's stripped out but other than the um, four little seven millimeters there we um, you just tug on it a little bit start working it loose and it came off there fairly easy okay so now we need to get on this we've got a connector in the back here we need to push down right there so let's get a, a little screwdriver okay I've got a little pick tool here and I found that this worked the best on this is you come up here and you just hook it and you pull down right there and this kind of grabs it too and it just pulls it right off you can see all but you don't need it you could just use a screwdriver but you just push down on that part right there and it releases that tab so it'll come off there okay so now we need to go ahead and get these these three torques out of here okay to remove these you're going to need some torx bits this is a t40 so you're going to need a, a little torx kit of some sort but we're using a a T40 um, these are not real tight already got them broke loose here but once they're loose they come out very very easy so we're gonna go ahead and just take all three of these out and we've already got the connector loose so all we got to do is get our our screws that are holding this and it'll be ready to come out said I don't know how exactly this got broke because I got the car and I've just been fixing things on it I'm gonna have to get my hand on it here cuz it's gonna fall when I take this loose but we've just about got this completely loose here okay so we should just be able to slide it right out there so now you can see what this assembly looks like here and this mechanism right in here broke so it goes into the striker plate there but it will not latch it just doesn't hold it so we'll go take a look at the other one here okay so here is our replacement latch you can see that it's got the striker plate attached to it of course I would have to get it connected to the wire to get it to unclip there but it's exactly the same as the other as you can see same connector and everything really got a good deal on this one uh, $25 is just uh, unheard of and it's the very low mild they even had the miles in the car so it's a very low mild latch and everything so we're gonna go ahead and get this over and uh, get it fastened up onto the car here really nothing to it okay so we're just getting ready to set this back up I'm just gonna leave that plate on there for a moment and we're gonna go ahead and start lining our little Torx back up here said there's nothing to it we got the first one in I'm just tighten it down by hand and then we'll get those other ones in here okay so we'll go ahead and get the middle one here and 
And here is our final one. Just kind of leave them all, get them all lined up, leave them loose, get them all started. And then we'll just snug them down. It doesn't have to be just terrible tight. They weren't that tight to take loose. So now we just need to snug those down. Okay, so I'm just going through snugging these. And we're gonna get that connector back on there. And I'm just gonna get it a little bit tighter than this. It doesn't have to be it's really tight. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of medium lock tight, but it's up to you. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just push this connector back up in here. It's just that simple. Just push it until it snaps into place here. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I gotta get my negative battery hooked back up. I'm gonna hit the uh, sensor here. I wanna make sure that this thing is functioning because it should release this here for me. And then we'll go ahead and before we put all this back on we'll go ahead and check it out and make sure that it is in fact working here all right so i just reconnected the negative here we should be able to go ahead and get this latch to working okay and the latch is working just fine as i push that it just it released it there no problem so now we're going to go ahead and just see if it's going to latch properly and it appears to be doing just fine now another thing, it's kind of hard for me to see these lights in here, so I'm going to have to go inside and check and make sure those are in fact going out, that I don't have another problem. Okay, so I'm coming in here to look and the lights are in fact out now, so that is good. That tells me that it's latching and doing its job properly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open this back up and said all we need to do is go ahead and get our cover there snapped back on it's no big deal we're just going to slip it back on and uh, get our little screws back into place and this will of course kind of go on to this first and uh said i'm going to put a little bit of that white lithium before i go to snapping it down but you get the idea just push it right back on to there line up these pins as you can see Look in there and line it You can start on one side or, or whatever. Just make sure, kind of look in there and make sure those are lined up. If those end ones are lined up, then the rest of them should be lined up. And you should just be able to give it a firm push. Said so when you know they're, just give it a firm push up. And see this is lined up here. Just give it a firm push up. So we know the middle's fastened and the edges are fastened, fastened down there. So, uh, so I only have these little little screws here left, and uh, said I'm going to see if I can find some little washers and put on mine because I did not like how they were trying to pull through there. Like it did on this one, so I'm going to put some uh, some washers on here just as a precaution. Because this thing gets tugged on a lot, and I don't want it getting getting ripped off of there. Okay, I finally found some washers I think will work. And uh, uh, you could probably find another little screw or something to work too that's got a bigger head on it. But I just want to put these on as a precaution, so I'm getting ready to put these back up in there. Okay, and I'm just getting this final screw in here. So these will just uh, hold it up here nice and tight. And if you can find a screw with a bigger head on it, wouldn't be a bad idea. But this is just a precaution. You can see how that's going to go up there and hold that nicely now. It's nice and secure. All right, so let's go ahead. At this point, we'll just snap these back on. There ain't nothing to these. Just snap it right on there. Okay, something's 
not lined up on this one, I guess. Okay, let me check this one out. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, this little clip turned on me here. I think it will possibly go now. I believe that's what it was. Okay, for whatever reason, that was more of a snug fit, but I finally got it on there anyway. Okay, so uh, that's got our latch fixed. As you can see, it's working great now, and we'll be able to actually latch this trunk and those lights won't be staying on and it'll be won't be dinging on me so i can leave my battery connected so anyways that's gonna conclude the video said i hope you found it helpful on uh, replacing this rear latch here if you did please give it a thumbs up and as always i invite you to subscribe and thanks for watching